Now to our top story tonight. A crisis averted at Maine's only landfill that takes municipal sludge and what could be a bigger environmental concern in the decades to come. Casella runs the site for the state. For now, that waste is being shipped across the border into New Brunswick, Canada, because other disposal sites in New England are at or near capacity. And as New Center Maine's Vivian Lee reports tonight, it appears the higher cost of sending those shipments to Canada will ultimately be passed on to ratepayers. David Hughes is the superintendent of the Scarborough Sanitary District. This 30 ton trailer loaded with sludge from the wastewater treatment plant is supposed to be hauled away every four days. Last week it had been here for nine days with no pickup and Hughes was running out of options. It came to the point of our holding tanks were full, our truck was full. Casella Waste Systems contracts with Scarborough and 30 other municipalities to haul sludge to the state-owned Juniper Ridge landfill. Last month, Casella significantly cut the amount of sludge it would accept at the facility because, it says, of concerns about the stability of a section of the landfill. The company blamed the crisis on two laws passed last year. The first, which went into effect last August, stopped the decades-long practice of spreading sludge on farmland as fertilizer because of recent findings that it contained high levels of toxic PFAS chemicals. The second law, which went into effect this February, stopped the flow of bulk waste from out of state, like construction debris. Casella says the debris is needed to mix with the sludge to make the landfill stable. In terms of the short-term emergency, that, that was caused by the instability of the landfill. I think we're past that. Wednesday, Casella officials told lawmakers sludge transports are back on schedule. Smaller amounts are going to Juniper Ridge, while much of it's being sent temporarily to facilities in New Brunswick, Canada. And that raises concerns for Adam Nordell with Defender Health. The farmer turned environmental advocate had to walk away from his grain farm, which was spread decades ago with PFAS tainted sludge. Is it getting composted and sold at that point? Is it getting land spread? Is it getting landfill? And huge concerns remain about the cost of hauling sludge from Maine to Canada. Scarborough went from paying about $200,000 a year to transport its sludge to potentially $600,000 a year. And that expense will ultimately have to be passed on to ratepayers. It's not something that, you know, we can absorb. We've been working incredibly hard to keep those costs as low as we possibly could. DEP officials, meanwhile, told lawmakers are working to find alternative sites to dispose of sludge. There is also new technology coming online to dry and process sludge while removing forever chemicals simultaneously. But to be able to, to change on a dime, it doesn't happen fast in this industry. Meaning a true long term solution could be years away. In Scarborough, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine.